at here. Far be it for me to divine Mr. Cohen's motivation beyond the pursuit of greed and profit. I can only speculate. And I think that it's fair speculation that Mr. Cohen surmised that because Mr. Abuita lives in the West Bank, that he would not be able to fight back, that he would not be able to assert his rights in court. Well, for all intents and purposes, the West Bank is under military jurisdiction. <clears throat> Mr. Abuita does not live in Israel. Much, dare I say most, of the publication of these infamous allegations has taken place here. So he comes here to seek justice. Well, I've already spoken to the motivation issue. Uh, that in, in, in inexorably involves uh, speculation, but uh, let, let's, let's address the fraud contention. I believe that uh, the circumstances under which uh, my client was interviewed by Mr. Cohen certainly was a fraud. Mr. Cohen, through his uh, emissary, contacted the Holy Land Trust seeking uh, uh, an interview. And uh, all that was said was that there was a German journalist that was interested in a documentary about the Palestinian people. Oh, my goodness. Look at what happened. That was, that was a false uh, pretense for the interview. This gentleman had no interest whatsoever in the Palestinian people. Instead, he wanted to reinforce the stereotypes and caricatures that many people across the world hold. That any young man who is politically active on the West Bank is a terrorist. How dare Mr. Cohen do that? How dare he? That's why we're here. Because, to paraphrase Dr. King, we have a patient hope in the ultimate justice of the people. And the people who will decide this case will be ordinary citizens of the District of Columbia who will sit in judgment of Mr. Cohen and his work. Just a follow-up to that. Sure. Oh, I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, one only need to watch the, uh, the Letterman interview. The Letterman interview is all about Sasha Baron Cohen ostensibly interviewing a terrorist. The jacket of the DVD talks about Mr. Cohen's encounters with terrorists. And just a week ago, Mr. Cohen and his director, who's also a defendant in the case, by the way, Larry Charles, appeared on National Public Radio. And they each uh, took great relish in talking uh, to uh, Terry Gross, uh, who interviewed them, uh, about how they've created a new genre of comedy in which the comedian is put in a situation of real danger, real danger. 
And ladies and gentlemen, all that that has done is to reinforce and to amplify the harm that Mr. Abuita, our client, has suffered. People have fear. People are full of fear in the United States since 9-11 and are all too willing to associate an Arab name with terrorism. How dare Mr. Cohen do this? How dare he? He will have to pay. Any other questions? Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your interest. We have copies of the lawsuit in the back for anyone who wishes to take a, a, copy, a copy of the lawsuit. Thank you.